Okay, what is up everybody? It's HK here. First and foremost, happy Thanksgiving to anyone that is celebrating with your family, friends, and loved ones. I'm here with my older brother, Anthony. What's up, guys? And we're gonna actually hit the gym. Uh, it is currently 12.15, and Kirky is a tur Kirky. <laughs> another word for turkey. <laughs> turkey is still cooking, and um, mom's hard at work in the, in the kitchen. She's doing her thing, so uh, we figured why not take the opportunity to go ahead and get a nice training session in. And I know you, a lot of you guys have been asking me to film my training sessions, and uh, I figured why not do this on Thanksgiving. I feel like it's Gainsgiving, mm -hmm. and we might as well... Uh, you know, do some fun stuff. So I'm, I'm actually going to follow my normal routine, uh, being that today is Thursday. Uh, normally I do, um, I do chest, uh, I'm sorry, squat and arms on Thursdays and slacking and I haven't been to the gym just preparing for all the family and, and friends that have been visiting. Uh, today we're going to do some squat and chest. So we're going to have some fun doing that and I know uh, my brother's gonna look to hit some. Uh, some I think PRs I, I think today. you're gonna hit a, look to hit a PR today. Looking to hit close to 245. 245. Last time I hit that, I was by myself. Amazingly, I did hit it. Okay. Did two clean reps. I haven't been able to do it for a while since I was kind of on and off. You could do a one uh, rep max yeah, I today. Could, I could definitely. I don't know if I'm gonna look. I today I'm mainly obviously gonna focus on the squat. Um, Gym Shark has hooked me up with some cool stuff. I've got my. Uh, Gym Shark stuff on. Uh, they got they hooked me up with some some pants, some extra medium pants, and uh, I got a long sleeve on that I'm gonna test out, and I'll have another video to follow up with this one, uh, talking about the clothes because I've uh, actually never had a chance to wear them yet, so I'm I'm kind of excited to train with them, being that the weather's starting to get a little cool out here in the desert, so uh, I think uh, I think we're just about ready to get in there, and uh, I'm gonna take you guys through my normal squat and chest routine so stick around hope you guys enjoy the video and again happy thanksgiving all right all right guys so this is actually the first time i'm ever doing a video like this uh, i've been trying to do some type of fitness related video for you guys for quite a while i get a lot of comments about you know what do i do in the gym how do i stay fit you know how do i stream for long periods of time and and still stay in shape and you know, obviously with the partnerships I have with Cellucor, I'm really big into staying fit and, of course, uh, staying as stress-free as possible. And uh, this video uh, I shot with my brother. I wanted to kind of test the waters a little bit with the slow mode. As you guys can see here, we were just kind of messing around with a couple of things. And uh, what's really cool about this is we shot this on my iPhone. It did it amazing. And I want to use the slow mode for future videos, so hopefully you guys like this this video here and I'm just gonna kind of take you through my workout like I said earlier it's a squat and chest day it's Thanksgiving we want to lift super super heavy want to get the hormone profile pushed up to the max so we can really fit a lot of food in our bellies and of course uh, have a lot of energy for the rest of the evening now what you guys didn't get a chance to see is our warm-up I usually do about five to ten minutes on a spin bike nothing too crazy just like to get the blood flowing through the legs I usually start my workout with the squats as always, uh, immediately after I get off the bike, as soon as my legs are warmed up and ready to go, I'll do some lunges. I'll lunge for about another 5 or 10 minutes with some weights, without weights. It all depends on the day, uh, but I like to mix things up a little bit, just keep the legs going. And then as soon as I feel like I'm primed and ready to go, I'll hit the squat rack, and that's what we're going to get into right now. Now, once I'm warmed up, I get right to a squat rack as long as there's one open, of course. I get directly underneath the bar, and I just look for my foot placement. I do about 10 or 15 reps here just to get my feet ready and in place so that I have really good form and kind of get into that rhythm as soon as I'm ready to actually get some weight on the bar. And usually in between sets, I'm always looking to just keep my legs moving as much as possible. Just keep the blood flowing and get all the acids out of the legs so that once I go into my next set, I'm not fatigued. So it's always good to finish up your set, keep moving, don't sit down, and get ready for the next one. So now for my first set, just two plates on each side. The 45-pound bar equals 135 pounds. It's about my body weight. I do about 10 or 15 reps here just to get a really good pump and then start moving into some heavier weight. So after I do that 135, I'll add the 25-pound plates and, again, do those to failure. Get as many as I can. Usually 8 to 10. If I can get more, I'll go to more. After that, I'll crank it up a little bit more. I'll throw on the 35s, do my sets there. That's usually when I start to throw the belt on, get the extra support. Always want to play it safe, uh, not throw out my back, and keeps my form really, really tight so that I'm not using my lower back to get into the actual squat. And... Then it starts to get a little bit complicated once I throw on the 45-pound plates, so 
After I throw on the 45 pound plates and I'm up to 225, that's when I start uh, slowing down the weight because that's usually on the heavier side for me. I can go up much higher, but I'm so focused on getting really, really good form and feeling that contraction in my quads and my hamstrings just all around my legs. I want to feel that that pressure and that, that stretch. That's when I know I'm getting a really, really good lift. So I try to keep it as clean as possible. And then of course, these all do to failure as well. Come on, get it, get it. Now, I don't want to take up too much time for the video, so I want to show you guys. This is my one uh, rep max for the workout. This is 275 pounds, which is a good amount of weight for you know someone my size. Again, I'm 5'10". Uh, I weighed in that morning, Thanksgiving morning. I was around 138 and a half, 139 pounds, we'll call it. So that much weight on me is, is a lot, <laughs> but it was still very, very good. I know I can go up much higher, but I wanted to just, like I said, keep it very clean, keep it simple. Uh, it's a good amount of weight for somebody my size, so I just wanted to uh, get this one out, and then afterwards I would do I would go back down to 135, and then uh, burn it out, do some some pause squats, and then move on to chest. Now the squat is the main protagonist in this whole workout routine of mine. So as soon as I'm done with my squat session, I move on to the next part of my day, which is either chest, back, shoulders, arms, what whatever it may be. I usually keep this very, very simple. I do uh, anywhere between three and four sets of a specific workout. So I'll do a flat bench press, an incline fly. Uh, I could do a decline press. I usually try to change it up every week. Uh, this week I just wanted to keep it simple being that I haven't been in the gym these last couple of days and I didn't want to overdo it or injure myself. So I kept it very simple today. Did some uh, flat bench press, did a incline dumbbell fly, and moved on to cable flies. Okay, so that just about wraps all those things up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd love to do more of this. I'd like to maybe do one a week, take you guys through some of the different routines that I have. I'm really, I, as you, most of you guys know, I'm really into fitness. I, I train six days a week, and I love incorporating this into my live streams for you guys to, to listen to and check out, and I just want to pass along some knowledge and uh, of all the gains and all the fun that I have with training. Again, big shout out to Gymshark for sending me some really awesome equipment. I'm definitely going to review this stuff for you guys so you can check out um, the gear that they sent me, exactly what they sent me. I'm going to do a separate video on it to follow within the next couple of days after this one drops. But again, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of everything. Again, I'm HK Smash. You guys have an awesome day, and thanks again for watching. See ya.